to run straight out again. Okay, I need to, I need to go above. There's something above. Ian is drawn to Freddy's bedroom, the room where Freddy says he was thrown from his bed. Oh, um, a real strong smell. Um, I mean, obviously, I can smell cigarettes in the house, but it just smells a lot stronger than that. It's so icy cold, and this, I don't know, I feel, felt the pins and needles again. Oh. <sighs> but I feel quite big. Really tall and stocky. Could Ian already be sensing the presence of George? Not a nice room at all. He's not a very nice man at all. Not a very nice man. A nerd. Very uncomfortable house. Coming up, Ian, Johnny and Stephen spend an uncomfortable night at Freddy's house. Oh, my God. The face is changing. And Freddy meets his match. What do you want from Freddy and his family? I want him! Comedian Freddie Starr is convinced there's a violent spirit in his house. No, George. You're going to speak to me tonight. I'm feeling... I'm going freezing. I'm cold. I can feel his... Oh, my God, yeah, I can feel his presence now. Why aren't you a very nice person, George? Feeling threatened, Freddie and his wife Donna have called on the Living with the Dead team for help. The time has come for whatever it is to move on. To find out what they're up against, the team are spending the night on their own in Freddie's house. And already, psychic mediums Johnny Fiore and Ian Lawman have sensed a strong presence in the house. It's like a heartbeat on the opposite side of this wall. Definitely being followed. After the two mediums have looked round the house, paranormal investigator Stephen Griffiths sets up his equipment for the overnight vigil. I'm going to put a motion detector um, on the back room and same as the front room as well, and uh, some infrared cameras and some um, trigger objects. The aim of these objects is to act as bait to any spirit that's tempted to approach them. If the trigger objects move out of the boundary lines that Stephen has drawn around them, paranormal activity may be an explanation especially as the doors to the rooms are now protected by motion detectors. OK, it's 12 midnight, and we've decided to turn off all the lights in the kitchen and um, see what we can come up with. If I close my eyes mm -hmm. um, and face you, I still feel drawn to that room there. Um, Ian's being drawn to the back of the house where we've had uh, the most activity for right now. We're all rigged up back there, so we're just going to go back there and sit and see if we can't um, draw anything out, okay? When they return to the living room, a surprise awaits them. Were these been? right on? It was right on. They've actually moved about a mill. Yeah, these have been moved. Oh, and the candy. Yep. We double-checked that everything was in the, the lines as we left the room. So the cross the... hasn't been moved, has it? Yes, it has. Oh! Oh my goodness! It sure has. Wow! Oh! Well, we've just come back into the, uh, the 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 end room and found out that the coins probably moved about a couple of mil, and the candy cane has been moved about a centimetre at the bottom, but the cross has moved probably about three to two centimetres uh, across the paper. Shh, shh, shh. What the fuck was that? Just beyond it. Yeah. Did you hear that? Okay, while um, Steve was um, talking about the cross, um, the trigger objects, Johnny and I actually, uh, there's kind of a faint noise. If there's anybody in this room with us right now, any spirit beings here present, and you can hear my voice, or see the people with us, can you make a, a noise, touch one of us? Okay, I'm going to hold up my hands. 
I'll let you touch my hand. Can you touch Johnny's hand? Yeah, my right hand is beginning to tingle. Okay. I'm going to image in my head mm -hmm. of like a, um, a farmer's cart pulled by one horse. Okay. I'm getting the breeze again, Ian. Just coming across, across my knees. Yeah. Not on the top, just across my knees. Right. As you said that, Johnny, I got a noise upstairs. I don't know how you feel, but I'd like to go in the room upstairs. It's quite interesting so far. We've been hearing some uh, noises, some clicks, movements of the floorboards, and very cold drafts um, coming in from all different rooms. Um, very interesting place indeed. Right. Why don't I sit in front of the mirror and ask them to come through me, see if you can see any changes? <laughs> what do you think? Mm -mm. Steve? Because we don't know what we're dealing with yet. Well, it's trying to make itself known to us by moving objects. That's the whole idea, isn't it? It's move the candy, it's move the cross, yeah, it's move the coins. So it's basically saying. Yeah, I can see the mirror. Johnny senses that something is taking hold of Ian. It's happening already, Ian. I can feel myself mostly. Oh my God. And your cheeks, it's like, it's swelling up and your face is changing. But my face looks disfigured. It does, doesn't it? Your cheeks, under your eyes, there's a, there's a puffiness. You guys, are you feeling the temperature drop in here? It's getting a lot colder now. I was just um, drawn to the mirror in the uh, bedroom here, and um, I suggested that we did some scrying, um, which is um, a way of looking into the mirror and trying to get spirit to communicate or um, show themselves. I could actually feel my face or see my face morphing as well. It did feel really, really strange. Um, yeah. Scrying means to look into something that reflects water with a tint of colour in it or a concave mirror, and people will see, if they're psychic people, images forming therein. People report that they've seen changes in the face, in the actual physiognomy of a medium. This is known commonly as transmogrification, and they will take on the features of the person who is uh, 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 manifesting through them. Overnight, Stephen left voice-activated EVP recorders in all of the rooms, and the one in Freddy's bedroom produced an unexpected result. Do you hear that? Last night, we stayed, uh, did a, an all-night visual. Uh, I was in Freddy's room and uh, to get some EVPs, and it was a locked-off room, and uh, we placed this uh, dictaphone on the bed. And as I was listening to it today, um, we found um, a recording of, a, I think it's a lady, um, saying Roger. What makes it more interesting, it was voice activated, so something was in the room, what made the noise, then it activated the uh, dictaphone, then it turned itself off. So um, it found it very interesting. With the trigger objects moving, Ian's strange metamorphosis and Stephen's dictaphone evidence all pointing to a spiritual...